This is the plaintiff, Evelyn. She says the radiator in the room above the one she was renting from the defendant sprung a leak, and her bedding and clothes were ruined beyond repair. The cheapo defendant refuses to take care of her financial responsibilities. No one should be subjected to the likes of a person like her. So she's suing for the $3,000 she's owed. This is the defendant, Linnell Lundy. She says the plaintiff was a problem from the get-go. She discovered the plaintiff was on parole. She moved her boyfriend in without telling her. They fought all the time, and she was also pregnant. The woman hasn't paid her rent in seven months. She filed to get revicted, and nothing of hers was ruined. She's accused of a terrible tenancy. All parties. Please, you're ready. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket. The plaintiff says the defendant, her landlord who lives above her, had a radiator leak and it ruined her clothes. But the defendant says the plaintiff is on parole and moved her boyfriend in to boot. It's the case of radiator. He hardly knew her. Thank you, Douglas. Evelyn, you're suing Linnell Lundy. You're her landlord? Yes. For $3,000 in damages, $2,000 of it emotional distress, and the rest for items that were damaged as a result of a leaky radiator, as well as $150 for mouse traps. Okay, what's going on? Um, so I've moved in her home November 17th, 2016. And you were and renting what? I was renting a room. A room, and then what would you use for a kitchen? Um, the the kitchen and the bathroom are both included. Common in the house, yes. All right, yes. and you were paying how much? It's five twenty a month. All right, and so you move in November of twenty sixteen, and everything's fine until it isn't. What went wrong? First, it was the radiator. It was okay. leaking. Um, I actually have a recording of the radiator. The water was leaking up like a faucet. Okay, and that was when. Like February of 2017. Okay, and you have the recording of that? Yes. All right, let me see if I've got that here. Is this it? Yes. Wow. Linnell, this is like literally like outrageous. And then I'm still having to pay like majority of my rent. Look at this. The majority of your rent. So then what happens? Um, I've had problems with the ceiling, and her husband has came to the house and put plaster on top of it. it the radiator above me leaks through the inside, and it comes down to my room, and it has messed up various items of mine. I've had to throw away sheets and everything. Okay, tell me what that picture is. This is the most current picture of what my room look, um, what the ceiling in my room looks like. I went to the hospital for it December 13th, I believe. Um, How did you go to the hospital for it? Because a piece of sheetrock fell on my head. Okay. And then um, what am I looking at in this picture? Um, those are just holes from different parts of the house. What is that black thing holding stuff up? Oh, I don't know what that is. What is that? I like a still wall that was placed there. So and what? I see why, that... is, why isn't the thing just fixed? I mean, it's disgusting. No, I know. It needs to be fixed. Yeah. How long yes. was it that way? <laughs> um, a couple of months. Yeah, that's not acceptable. No, it's not. Right. At all. Okay. What's that? Another part of the wall. Someone must have punched a hole in that. Someone, Someone punched a hole in Someone that. Someone had to. Uh, you don't no. remember who put a hole in it? This is my first time seeing a hole. Right. And then this, so this is... Uh, this is, a, that. that's what my uh, radiator is now. I have to have that uh, bucket there to hold onto the water. That's broken. That's part of my stuff that got damaged from the ceiling. What are they? Picture, like valuable pictures from family and friends. This is mold in the binder of your One photo, of photo album? albums, yes. What's this? Mail from my fiance that got ruined. New Jersey parole board? Yes, he's on parole. What's this? That is one of the doors, I believe that's the door to the basement. Okay, I, I understand you're trying to evict her, right? She hasn't paid rent in how long? In six months. In six months. That's not true. I have messages on my phone where I informed her November 6th that I was transferring out. I'm also on parole. I said, this is the process. I, before I move anywhere, I have to let, I, parole has to approve the address that I'm moving to. She said, oh, okay. The text that I got from her was, oh, so I guess you're gonna be living there rent free. I didn't respond back to her. Why would you send that? 
Because it's the truth. I've been yeah, texting her. Yeah, but why don't her. you keep your mouth shut and see if she pays rent? Why would you suggest no, it to her? because she hasn't been paying rent. I have all my texts from her from okay, the beginning Okay, let's see the texts that show whether she's, she had been paying rent or hadn't has been paying, paying rent. rent. Show me your all text that you're talking about. You can see where she's, um, where she sent me. She can read it from that part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm seeing texts from August where you weren't paying. You know, and it's chasing, chasing you for, for the rent for some time. When do you file a notice of eviction? Um, I just filed it in December. Okay. Now, you are suing for $150 for sets of sheets, and these sheets were ruined when? The times that the water fell down from. Okay, but one the of those times you've told me about is a year ago. Okay. So are you suing for sheets that were ruined a year ago? I'd just like to know. Because I got to make sure you're not just doing this because you're getting evicted. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So those sheets were ruined when? Um, the last set of sheets were ruined is the day that that happened, which I What day were the sheets ruined? The end of November. Okay, do you have evidence year? of ruined sheets? Can I, have, I see the sheets? Well, there's pictures right here. Mm -hmm. And why can't you just wash them? Like if I spill something on my sheets or my clothes, I wash them. Why because can't? they also have mold and everything else in there from the ceiling and the sheetrock falling on there. Okay, I see sheetrock on the floor. I see sheetrock on, on, your, on your bed. I see it, okay? Um, what I'm asking you is, you, you are attempting to collect $150. Do you have receipts to show that that's what those sheets cost you? That, that, those weren't the only pair of sheets that got ruined. Okay, I, I, it's a simple question. You are suing for $150, prove it. Prove it's, you're out $150 and that it can't come out by washing the sheets. I don't have any receipts okay. for that. And then you're Sorry. suing for $200 for the pictures, really because of the sentimental value of the pictures. Yes. Now, I see one picture on top that is ruined, and then I see the binder of the, of the photo album that is ruined on one. You could, of course, transfer those pictures into something else. Uh, seven pairs of sweatpants and ten sweatshirts that were inside of a dresser. Okay, is the dresser ruined? Yes. Can I see pictures of the dresser room? I don't have pictures of the dresser room. Okay. Is it your dresser? Yes. Why wouldn't you be suing for that? My dresser? Because it was an old um, dresser that my mom okay. had brand Do you me. have pictures of seven pairs of sweatpants and ten sweatshirts? I have a picture of one pair of sweatpants that was on the floor. Do you right have now. any receipts for any of it to show why you should be entitled to $500? No, ma'am. Okay. Uh, mouse traps. Tell me about that. The mice are all over the house. Um, they come in from the closet of your room and they go into your room. I would have to buy mouse traps. Um, my my fiance actually put in. Why'd you stay there? Because my mother moved to North Carolina, and I was trying to do it on my own. And it wasn't that bad when I first moved in there. No, but it got bad according yeah. to you pretty quickly. Yeah. And you're still there. So well, you're there actually, a year after it got I'm bad. I'm supposed to be moving from there with going to my mother's next month. So to North Carolina. Yes. Because I'm now seven months pregnant and I need help. With who? The fellow who's in jail? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you have any evidence that you spent $150 on mousetraps? No, Because, I mean, I deal in evidence. That's what yeah. I, I need. All right. And then $2,000 for emotional distress. Tell me about that. It's just ongoing. Um, anytime something's wrong with the house, it doesn't get fixed. That one hole with the metal part on it, that's from the bathroom leaking downstairs into the hallway going into the kitchen. My room with the radiator, everything, when the piece of sheetrock fell on my head, um, I have a head, head injury and complications of my pregnancy. Okay, That's hold on. When did you go to the hospital? Uh, December 13th, I believe. When did you file the eviction? December 16th. If you look at the pictures that she sent of the ceiling, you can see the first picture she sent. The ceiling was not as big as it was. Why aren't you fixing it? You know, let's like no, no, you're no. running a my husband came like a slumlord. If you look at the text, why does it text, look that way? My husband came to fix it that day. It's on the text. He said, I'm not going to cover because the radiator is leaking. I had to turn the radio off when because it, it was yeah, so cold. I, I understand things happen. He, I don't yeah. understand why they're not fixed. No, no. I, I was, as I'm telling you, if you look at the text, when I said my husband would be there tomorrow, but my husband came that day, he cleared the whole thing out. He took the molding out. Yeah, did he patch the ceiling? No, he didn't patch it because right. it, was still, it was still leaking from the... Well, then stop it from leaking. Get, hire a plumber. I know it's expensive, no, but no, no, that's no. what you need to do so that the tenants don't problem. live in mo mm -hmm. mo mold and, you well, know, the mold unsafe was clean, conditions. Did everything. No, it was clean. It was cleared. It was clean. There, if there's still moisture coming out, there's still a problem. But no, it's dry now. It's not dry. There's a pail with water. No, that's not what... Okay. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, you guys got to you gotta, gotta like keep that. up with the place. You can't. No, no, I know. There's, you know, the thing is. A lot of those are lies right there she's telling you. Oh, I, I, I agree. I, 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 because if you're, if, you know, if you're suing for $150 for bed sheets, then 
unless you pulled the number out of the thin air, you would have receipts for $150, ruined bed sheets that couldn't get washed, and other things. I think that what's going on here mm-hmm. is that we're playing Canis Mas Macho because you have dueling lawsuits. I've mm-hmm. got that. Mm-hmm. On the other hand, I'm looking at a pretty unsanitary place. No, it's not and funny. I can bet you dollars to donuts mm-hmm. that you're not going to get a judge to say to you that she owes you all of that rent because they're going to rebate something based on the conditions of that place. That's fine. And, you know, the amounts of monies that you're asking for for ruined things, you know, the pictures that you have show that you're living in a place that you shouldn't have to be living in, that's for sure. Are you sue for rent and eviction at the I'm same not, time? I'm just doing eviction. I'm not, even, I'm not going back for the back Because you just want to get separate. her out. Yep. So, uh, but based on what I'm listening to, there's a complete lack of evidence of what you're suing for here. Um, if she were to go after you for rent, you would certainly have a good mm-hmm. case to, for rent abatement that you shouldn't have to pay full rent if it looks like that. You know, you don't have evidence of $3,000 of damages to your stuff because of, of this. What's your defense to getting evicted from there? So... Who's generally shadier, landlords or tenants? That's a hard one to answer. I mean, well, you got two choices. <laughs> um, tenants. Because? Because uh, I only have one uh, second to answer. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fair point. What do you say? Uh, I'd probably say tenants. Because why? Um, I feel like tenants try to get away with more things. Interesting. Huh? Going inside the courtroom. Nothing. Like I said, I had stopped paying her rent because I was transferring out to North Carolina. So what? What is, how does that entitle you to stop paying rent? The rest of us have to pay rent until we leave. Not only that, but of the fact that the house was in the conditions that it was okay. in. All right. You guys can duke that out in eviction court. Um, but it's uh, pretty clear to me that a lot of this was attempted leverage. Um, and based on the lack of evidence for the damages that you're asking for, my verdict in this case is for the defendant. Good luck, folks. Thank you. Well, in spite of having lots of pictures, the plaintiff did not have enough sufficient evidence to prove her case and doesn't get the $3,000 she was seeking here in court. What are you thinking right now? Um, She's just a liar, but it's all right because I will be leaving out of there. Um, Somebody from City Hall needs to go there and actually search that place. Why did you stay there? Because I had just came home from parole and I was trying to do it on my own with my mother living in North Carolina. Yeah, but I mean, the place looks yeah. terrible. Yes, it is. How could you stand living in there, staying in there? Because at that time, it's the only thing that I could choice? afford. No. Okay. Well, eviction court's tomorrow, right? Mm-hmm. So we'll see what happens there. Mm-hmm. I don't know. They may get you out before you think you're leaving, you know? It's possible. I hope so. You hope so? Mm-hmm. What do you do if they throw you out? Well, I'm moving with my mother next month. Yeah, but I mean, so. court's tomorrow. They may say right. leave tomorrow night. I, I don't mean, know what they'll it, say. <laughs> <laughs> you may be out on the street. That's my point. I mean, I really can't go out on the streets because I'm, I'm also legally binded. So So they can't throw you out? I don't know. That's, <laughs> that's up to the court and I guess well, my parole officer or anything. Okay, good enough. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank there's you. A lot more here than meets the eye. Ms. Lundy, I got to ask you, that the picture... T- Make that house look like a dump. No, and it's not. It's really not. Well, she did, the, it, it she really did her best. The pictures she did don't it, lie. And she didn't win. I know, but pictures the don't lie. The thing is, she stayed there rent-free six months. She had a good time. She... Yeah, but, but it looks yep. terrible. How do you okay. answer that? We'll get it fixed. You'll get it fixed. We'll definitely get it How fixed. do you expect people to live in your house looking mm-hmm. at it like, like uh, that way? Wow. Well, do you live there? No, I don't. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. So it'll be, it'll admit, be fixed. It looks pretty bad. No, no, it is. And it'll, yeah. be, it'll be definitely be fixed. It really, it really boy, will oh boy, be. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I don't know mm-hmm. how you get people to stay in there. I just it's don't know. It's not that bad. <laughs> yeah, okay. it is that bad. Okay. I got to tell you, you, it's that bad. Right. It's even worse than that. <laughs> okay? It is worse than that. Don't you think so, Harvey? Okay, you know what? It, it's a little tricky, but... You know, you can sue for damage after the fact in small claims court if you're a landlord or a tenant. But in terms of actually suing to evict a tenant, that is is reserved for the eviction court and small claims courts can't do it.